Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a new product presentation session. This time, we're going to uh, discuss and uh, show off uh, the latest uh, TBS uh, DVB satellite card. It's the TBS 6909X. Um, it's a DVB-S, S2, S2X, 8-tuner PCI Express card. First, I will uh, show you some uh, stuff uh, directly from the website regarding the specifications. And then we will proceed with uh, some small tests because the card already is installed. We used as a um, test environment a um, MOI AMD uh, industrial, small, small MOI AMD industrial uh, device, also produced by TBS. And as a software uh, interface, we use the Kylon um, media system, media server. So uh, very firstly, the card is looking pretty similar to the previous version of the TBS 6909, the simple one without X. The suffix X, it's coming from S2X uh, um, standard, uh, satellite standard reception. What does it mean? It means that the S2X, it's able and it's capable of um, receiving and encapsulating and multiplexing uh, S2X um, uh, frequency transponders. Uh, alongside the S2X extension, uh, we will find on the card also um, advanced uh, uh, stuff uh, such as VCM, CCM, QPSK, uh, 8PSK, 60PSK or 32PSK. The most important are, of course, the VCM, CCM because um, of the satellite 5 degree west with uh, special feeds, with special um, uh, transponders, which makes, which makes this card possible, this card makes possible to receive those channels and watch them and see them. The card, it's uh, PCI Express. Uh, it works also on PCI Express uh, um, 1, 4, 8, or 60 slot. So you can plug it in any of these slots. It will work without any problem. Yeah, uh, as I told you, it's capable of DB, DVB S S2, uh, DVB S to X, and also VCM and CCM, of course. Um, it work, the card works in Windows and Linux as well in both operating systems, and it's uh, a very hot product. Uh, why it's a very hot product? Because um, with the migration starts of the television of the uh, operators to 4K, the bandwidth, the data rate and the bandwidth on the satellite, uh, it begins, began to, to be larger and larger. So uh, the strength of this card, it's uh, dealing with uh, large bandwidth, large data rate transponder. So if a transponder have very large data rates, this card will handle for sure. Okay, next step, we're going to go to the small test. As I told you, this is the interface of the um, Kylon Media uh, server, our uh, proprietary uh, uh, operating system for uh, DVB reception, for uh, broadcasting, for uh, uh, transcoding, for all the stuff related to uh, this business. So uh, it's quite straightforward. We go to the transponders. We can set. We I have set an uh, an um, a transponder with DVB S uh, to X. The transponder, if I'm not mistaken, it's 33 East. Yeah, Eltalsat 33 East. Um, we set the 12,597 uh, uh, frequency. The symbol rate. Is the polarity is vertical, the modulation is 8 PSK. Of course, here, because our system is a little bit outdated, we set the DVB S2, but uh, the extension is DVB S2 X. And of course, we're going to hit uh, a scan button. As you can see here, the 8 tuner, we have two cards installed in the test system. One is the T TBS 6909X, the second one is 6590 which is 
another uh, very good uh, DVB card. So uh, we will set one of the tuners, we will uh, set uh, explode audio feeds, and of course we're gonna hit scan. You can uh, drag the slider or the timeout if the transponder is very big and contains many many channels. Yeah, you can uh, drag the, the slider here and increase the scan time. Okay, uh, scanning, it's quite straightforward. Just press scan. Oh, uh, it will not work because the system already it's scanned and its, um, it's uh, channels are mapped. But uh, I can select another tuner, for example, from here and scan the same frequency. Okay, let's see. The media server, I think, I should be stop the media server before scanning, but seems it started to scan. Once the scan done, automatically the, the channels will be mapped in the in the back end, and uh, we will be able to see them. Uh, the card itself, it's um, it's a wonder of the technology. As you can see already, they uh, find me the channels. Uh, all these uh, channels are uh, broadcasted in DV DVB-S2X um, protocol. So um, uh, they are uh, quite straightforward, very easy to scan, very easy to get. It's not a problem. Now to test if uh, we get properly these, uh, these streams, these channels, yeah, we're going to go and have a look at the status on the um, Kylon uh, dvb uh, media server and we're gonna see that yes the stream it's received yeah it's uh, horizontal no no okay uh, this is the value of the signal uh, 70 percent uh, strength uh, and the signal is 65 percent 66 distance and also we can see here the the bandwidth of the streams here we can see the pids and the uh, and the channel service ids and here we can see the streams uh, already mapped, uh, URLs are generated. So we're gonna proceed, copy one of them, and we're gonna open it in the VLC for the for the test. Um, in the same uh, way, it's working also in uh, Windows, and in the same way, it's possible to receive uh, special feeds from uh, ACM, CCM, VCM. As you can see, the stream already open and it's running yeah we're gonna have a little bit of look at the stream so the codec it's h264 uh, the video resolution is uh, 1444 yeah uh, these are the audio uh, feeds and the video feeds Statistics, you can see here, the buffer, media size, the max, the most, the max data size. So this stream is around 30, 37 uh, megabytes per second. It's pretty large, it's a HD stream. And it is a, it is a S2X, it's coming from an S2X um, protocol transponder. Basically, it's very simple. Uh, I will show you also how to add a new transponder if you want to add a new transponder. It's very simple, just new record, put some name on the record, SAT 54. Yeah, DVB-S, you can choose DVB-S, S2, or S2X, or DVB-C, or DVB-2, ATSC, or ISDBT. Of course, uh, we will take all DVB-S2, we will put some frequency here. Uh, remember, the frequency after is the regular fre frequency and three zeros. And just save, of course, edit again, because we need to fill in the symbol rate and uh, set the uh, uh, values uh, of the, um, of the um, symbol rates. Polarity, modulation, yeah. Uh, FAC and the front end number do, do not touch it if you are using uh, Pylon because it's automatically will set the proper. If you are using DSEC uh, switches or multi switches, you can select your DSEC switch or multi switch and also the LMB power. Save and once saved, you will find it here.
the new one it's s sat4 we select the sat4 so uh, all you have to do is just to click it go press the scan button click the explode audio pins to see also all the audio pins and hit scan select your tuner which you want to assign for scanning and uh, click the scan button basically it's just straightforward and very simple the view the ui uh, interface it's very useful and very 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 understandable for anyone of course you can see here the the streams yeah you can have um, many informations regarding the streams you can click and see more expanded informations such as uh, clock reference video uh, id or subtitle id and all the informations regarding the streams pids the video pids service id and so on this is it uh, i recommend you if you have the possibility buy the tbs 6909 x card because it's a very strong it's a very good card and it's very useful especially for uh, streamers especially for people who are uh, trying to uh, feed hunting for example or uh, special uh, satellite frequency reception but not only for them also for regular people who who like to who would like to receive uh, multiple streams multiple channels with uh, eight tuner thank you very much uh, have a nice day and uh, keep looking keep watching our movies thank you bye bye